Hello everybody, Morbtron here. Today is June 18th, 2019, which makes it a Tuesday and a reset day. And now the Iron Banner has returned, but the Iron Banner has been updated and changed. There is now a quest line and not bounties that you get to get the Iron Banner gear. And the new armor apparently is the Year 1 armor, but all of the stuff has been updated to Year 2 stats. And all the ornaments from Year 1 will work with the armor. So let's go check this out real quick. And we have bounties. And we have a new test of strength. Is it, oh, this is a quest. Okay, so let's, we gotta pick up the quest. There's a sparrow to earn. Interesting. Pretty cool. The new emblem. Very nice, actually. I kind of like that emblem. We can preview the new shaders as well. So that's iron gold and iron bone. Okay, that's way too chrome. That's, that's way too bling for me. It might look good on other characters. The Titan is a no-no. And uh, the gold, I'm, all, I'm just not a fan of guns. More bronze than gold, but still. Um, it looks like we have powerful gear. doesn't reward the exact items anymore. It's just powerful gear from the bounties. And then the quest is what actually gives you the new armor. Let's just see if I can turn those in and then preview what we can get here. So this is what the armor looks like without any of the ornaments attached to it. Um, and then, like I said, the ornaments from year one can be used on this armor. So that's pretty cool. actually kind of dig that because the year one armor, in my opinion, was the best Iron Banner armor uh, in Destiny 2. And the ornaments were pretty cool. So being able to use those again is very nice. Now, Bungie did mention that we're getting new weapons, and it looks like we got one new weapon, I believe. Or maybe this was a year one rocket, I don't remember. We have the Shining Sphere rocket launcher, uh, which the curated roll on it, if this is the curated roll, probably not, isn't the best. And we have Ganora's Axe as well, which is a slug shotgun. Let's see if we can go into the Collections tab and see if there is the curated roll we can look at here. So let's go Weapons, go Year 2 Ganora's Axe, there we go. So it looks like the curated roll for this one is going to be Akrize Rounds Outlaw and Opening Shot. That's actually really, really good for a slug shotgun. That's actually very, very nice. Alright, let's go into the Rocket Launcher section now, and we got the Year 2 Shining Sphere. I was really, really hoping to see, like, a Grenades and Horseshoes perk on this, but, oh well. Maybe we'll get Legendaries with Grenades and Horseshoes someday. Today is not that day. So go check out Iron Banner. It's a good source for powerful gear if you're not 750. Um, all the bounties reward powerful gear, and I imagine the quest will reward us with some sort of powerful stuff as well. As a team, earn points by defeating Guardians in the Iron Banner. And it's just at 0%, so we don't know how many, but I imagine you'll just get them done by doing the bounties. Other stuff throughout the solar system. In the Dreaming City, it is a mid-week or week two in the curse cycle, so Petrovenge is in the Devalian Mists, and we have, of course, the quest and all that stuff there, and next week returning will be the Shattered Throne Dungeon. In the Vanguard, for the Night Falls this week, we have... Warden of Nothing, again. It was Warden of Nothing last week as well. And we have the Tree of Probabilities, uh, which gives you the DFA Hand Cannon. The Warden of Nothing gives you the Warden's Law Hand Cannon. And we have the Exodus Crash, which will give you an Exotic Sparrow. So those are the Nightfalls for this week. Uh, in Gambit, the Reckoning boss is going to be the Shade of Oryx, as last week was the Twin Knights. So if you're looking to farm for last season's weapons, uh, the Hand Cannon Spare Ashens is available to be farmed now. And of course, in the Crucible, we have the Iron Banner there as the weekly rotating playlist. The Flashpoint is on Mars. There is that. And I think that's pretty much it for the Solar System. Um... Don't forget to pick up your new bounties from either Werner or Benedict in the tower. And 
yeah, let's check to see what the Eververse has for us this Welcome, week. Guardian. It seems like Bungie is rotating their stuff through to be sold for Bright Dust over time this season, so you just gotta be patient if you wanna spend Bright Dust on stuff rather than pay real money for it. Um, so it looks like in the Bright Dust first tab we have Reef Awoken, Beast's Paw Projection, which I can now preview. And we have the Silver Bullet Ornament for the Crimson, and the Grooving Dance there. And let's just go right down into the other Bright Dust tab. Alright, what do we got here? We got Timeout. Don't have that one, so let's just go ahead and purchase-size that. We have the Grateful Crane. That actually looks like a pretty unique Sparrow. I like that. And the trail is also very unique. Okay, very, very bright at the back end of it. And has like a wispy purple trail. So, that's cool. I'll definitely pick one of those up. And then it looks like we have the Titan. Yeah, we have the Titan chest piece. You want your Titan to look like it's wearing a leather coat. Um, there you go. The role right now is Unflinching Sniper Aim, Special Ammo Finder, Auto Rifle Reserves, and Unflinching Power Aim. And uh, we also have the Blued Steel Weapon Ornament, or I'm sorry, Armor Ornament for the Shards of Galanor. Makes them look a little bit less rusty and broken. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick that up as well because I don't have that one. Uh, we have a Meteor Shower Weapon Ornament, and this is for the Parcel of Stardust Shotgun. And we have Standoff, which is a Forsaken emote that came around almost a year ago. And we have the Chalice Projection for your ghost there. Um, I don't think I have that unlocked, so I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And let's see here. As far as here, we have Atmospheric Glow. I don't think I have that shader unlocked, so I'm just going to go ahead and purchase one of them. Excellent choice. The Minotaur Effects Transmat Effect. If you want to transmat in like a Minotaur does, there you go. Uh, Flavado Core is disgusting looking, and it's a Forsaken shader, so if you don't have that net yet, you can. And the Reflection Effects Transmat Effect as well from Curse of Osiris. There you go. That's the new okay, stuff from Eververse. I should say the the rotated stuff through Eververse. Titan marks going all over the place. Anyway, I believe that is it for this week for the reset. Um, oh, there's a new boss in the menagerie as well. Forgot about that. And next week we have the heroic version of the menagerie out there. So something else to look forward to. New content coming for next week. There you have it, folks. That is it for this week's reset video. If you like this video, if you want to show your support, definitely, definitely hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And the most important thing is to not forget to have a good day. And I will catch you all next time.